this is how to operate the DBM 40P Production Rebar Bending Machine from the Sigma Series by BN Products USA. This unit is used to accurately shape rebar. It's a production workhorse while being easy to use. The unit comes with these seven rolling pins to shape just about any size of rebar. Additional rolling pin sizes are available if needed. These three buttons represent the three different pin selection options. Using P3, for example, you can see how the sensors operate. As it strikes the third pin, the unit comes to a stop. P1 will stop at the first pin, P2 at the second pin, and P3 will stop at the third pin. And you can adjust the pins and rollers to get the exact bend you need. The bender can also turn to the left or the right, providing you with up to six different bends. This is the largest roller for the DBM 40P at 10 inches or 256 millimeters. It bends a number 11 bar. This is a nine inch or 230 millimeter roller, which can bend number 10 bar. This is a six inch or 150 millimeter roller, which can bend number eight bar. And this is a four and a half inch or 111 millimeter roller, which is used for number six bar. Next is a three and three quarter inch or 95 millimeter roller for a number five bar. And then next is a three inch or 75 millimeter used for a number four bar. And finally, we have the two and three eighths or 60 millimeter for three bar. Each of these pins are one and a half inches or 38 millimeters in diameter. It is possible to bend around these for smaller bar. And this pin in the center is one inch or 25 millimeter and can be used for really tight bends. These are the rail pins that you can move around on the table. The rails can then be adjusted for fine tuning. If you're bending smaller bar, you could drop a pin here drop this guy on, and then place a second pin where the bolt stopper will rest against. This too can be adjusted depending on the angle needed based on the relationship to the center roller. As you can see, I add roller sleeves to the pins. The only disadvantage to using this retainer is that it prevents you from turning the table in the opposite direction. For safety reasons, when making pin and roller adjustments, be sure the equipment is turned off. By the way, if there's any reason you need to shut down the tool, there are two emergency shutoff switches, one in the back of the unit and one in the front. When placing the rebar on the table, you want to make sure that you have this area as close to the bar as possible so you're able to move a pin around the cluster of holes and drop a roller on top. Once that is completed, you can put the retainer in place. Notice the gap between the rebar and the retainer. This is where you can adjust the rail by turning this dial. Be sure to refer to the manual for proper configurations. Before you place the rebar on the table and power up the unit, make sure it is free from debris and other pins that could hinder the operation. Before bending, make sure that your starting point is at zero zero. As you can see by this current stopper pin placement, the zero zero placement is not straight. It's worth noting that there are two operational modes, auto or manual. When in manual mode, you need to hold the foot pedal or the foot pedal button continuously for a bend. If you let up on the foot pedal, the machine will stop. Useful for setting up machine operation. When the dial is selected to auto mode, you simply press and release the button or foot pedal for the bend rotation to occur. This unit, by the way, is also capable of bending multiple small bar at the same time. It also bends up to number 11 bar with ease. Well, that's a look at how to operate the DMB40P production rebar bending machine.
If you have any questions, please visit us online or call 800-992-3833.